Hey guys, it's Wads with the Wads Up channel. Thanks for joining me again today. Uh, today we're down at West Coast Off-Roaders and I'd like to share with you uh, a control panel that's just being released by Slasher Performance. Now, I've been using it for about two months uh, and it's worked out really well for me. Uh, a lot of guys have been asking me, how do you control all the lights on this vehicle? Because you've probably seen, or if you've seen past videos, you know I've got lights all over this vehicle. So I'd like to share with you what I use to manage all of my lights and uh, what's worked for me, both uh, the control panel that's under the hood and also the switch that's in the vehicle. So let's go get her done. This is where all the magic happens for Slasher Performance. As I was saying, this just was recently, this was just released by Slasher Hum. So this is the control panel and it's an eight bay unit or eight switch capable. And all of your wiring comes underneath here and right in here. And so that's where they all terminate. And you've got everything from five amp all the way up to 30 amp. And then you just button everything down with these screws here. And each area of course has its own dedicated fuse. And this seals nicely here. So keeps the dust, mud and moisture out. So essentially when you're wiring everything up, because I've got a lot of lights, everything from a light bar to side lights, to rear lights, uh, to work lights, fog lights, spotlight. So they all connect obviously to all those. And then you've got this switch here, or excuse me, uh, an inside switch. I'll show that to you as well. So this is what your switch looks like. And you can see there's nothing indicated on here right now, but uh, they provide you this handy little um, pad of stickers that you can put on there to uh, organize all of your lights. You got a whole lot of options here, everything from horns to grill light, hood light, side light and keeps everything super tidy too so that's that's important so you don't and also inside the cab keeps everything nice and tidy so you don't have a billion switches you just got one neat and tidy panel and it's, everything's labeled it's the only, really the only way i think to do it if as soon as you go over five lights <laughs> you got to get this thing organized so it's a kit that you can get <clears throat> and it includes quite a bit in the kit We've even got a 100 amp switch here. And there's a dust proof, waterproof uh, cover that goes over that. And you mount that in line under the hood. So that's where we've mounted the 100 amp. And then it just routes to where the control panel is. We're just about to put the cover back on the control panel. We got it buttoned away in the corner here. Right, let's get this cover on. Let me just run the wires all the way along there. Let's get everything all buttoned up here with the battery and on our way. Controls the slasher lights and the slasher light bar. We got lights everywhere. <laughs> So now you see we need a control panel because you don't always want both the spotlight and the floodlight on at the same time or, or even the control or even the, uh, the bar there. So and sometimes when you're working, you know, you want to be able to control two lights as opposed to four at one time. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I know I've enjoyed Slasher Performance uh, control panel and the whole kit there with the switch. It's really made things, well, it's made things neat and tidy and uh, it's a really affordable, good value uh, kit. I've looked at other products on the market. Uh, they're at least twice or even three times the cost of Slasher Performance's entire kit for the control panel and the switch. So give it a look guys. Uh, if you're looking for high value stuff uh, for your ATV or your truck or your car, uh, this is, uh, fits the bill for me and uh, I think it will for you as well. All right guys, we'll talk to you later. Cheers.